Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Chip Station Shipping. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you how the uh, OpenCart Web Store customers would be able to choose the shipping method uh, or the shipping carriers at the uh, checkout time so as to uh, receive their uh, uh, products using the same. And uh, apart from that, we'll also be showing you how the admin can set up the OpenCart Chip Station Shipping plugin from the admin backend panel. So uh, before we proceed further to the uh, web store front end and then the uh, back end of this uh, open card ship station integration plugin by webpool let me give you a small gist about this plugin itself so basically it facilitates the admin of the store to integrate the ship station shipping services which allow the delivery of orders through various shipping carriers such as USPS UPS FedEx DHL and others. Initially the admin must uh, enable the ship uh, station shipping service and uh, after which the admin can configure its title and allow the shipping carriers for the order delivery. The admin can define the weight length class and the handling fee uh, for the package itself and uh, the handling fees is not shown individually but adds up uh, with the shipping method on the checkout page. And uh, basically the shipping options uh, with real-time freight rates are visible to the customers in the checkout page and they can also view the tracking number for the order uh, so as to check the order itself so now let me take you to the uh, web store front end and uh, I'll be showing you the customer flow but before that uh, because we are making use of the ship station API so what I'll be doing, I'll be showing you how you can get the ship station API. So uh, to get the uh, ship station API that includes the uh, API key and the API secret, you need to navigate to ship station, uh, uh, what we say as the web website, and then you need to create your account. After creating the account, what you need to do is you can go to the uh, section that's on the top right hand corner, you see a wrench icon, just tap that up. And that will bring up your profile and uh, also a ship station uh, account is required for making use of this particular plugin so after you've logged into your uh, account you just need to navigate to the API settings and here you can generate the API keys uh, you can also regenerate the API's API keys as per your requirement but uh, kindly make note that the previous set of keys uh, cannot be uh, used again so whenever you regenerate API keys you need to uh, again uh, copy these uh, newly created API keys within the admin backend panel for this particular module itself so that was how you can get the ship station we have also added the uh, details uh, within the user guide of this uh, particular plugin so you can go through that within the uh, description below I have just attached that particular user guide for the same and uh, so here now we have uh, created the uh, API key and the API settings and now after generating API keys uh, the uh, admin can uh, manage the shipping and fulfillment providers and for that the admin just needs to navigate to uh, again to account settings here and then uh, we need to go to so actually we don't need to go to this particular first account we need to go to the shipping section here and here you can see carriers and ful fulfillment just tap that up and that will bring up the uh, carriers and fulfillment uh, uh, section as you can see and uh, here you can see that the uh, shipping providers or the carriers are used when you purchase postage and print labels and the fulfillment providers are used uh, when you have a third party service who packages and ships your order for you so from here you can connect and manage your providers for uh, any type of uh, sh uh, shipping uh, slip that you want to create so here we already have uh, around the USPS uh, and the ship insurance there. So you can add uh, multiple carriers and fulfillment uh, carriers by tapping here on the add a provider account. So let me tap on the add a uh, provider account and uh, that brings up this particular section from where the admin can uh, check all of the uh, available providers and uh, he can choose uh, or he can select a shipping provider to give the details about the service and from here as well the admin can register on uh, 
or create an account with the selected provider apart from that we have the us uh, ps providers we have the different shipping providers and we also have the fulfillment uh, providers as you can see here around uh, four ha we have like the amazon fulfillment ship uh, wire and uh, fulfillment by amazon california and the uk so from here uh, so let's go back to the all providers and uh, for example if i tap here on the fedex on the right hand side you'll uh, check the uh, details uh, of this particular shipping uh, provider and uh, you can also set up uh, the account with them uh, by tapping here on the connect uh, button apart from that you also need to uh, set your shipping from location uh, before we connect to any of these uh, shipping providers so let's go back and uh, from uh, here we need to navigate uh, to the section that will allow us to set up the uh, shipping locations for uh, the admin itself so uh, on the left hand side under the shipping we just need to navigate to the ship from locations and from here you just need to add a ship from location by tapping on the add button so you'll just uh, enter all of the uh, details that are there for this uh, particular uh, place that you're using for uh, shipping the products out and then you just need to tap here on the save changes button and that would basically uh, create uh, the uh, ship from location uh, address here and thereafter now we can integrate the uh, packages or the uh, what you say as carriers and fulfillment uh, carriers so if I tap here on the add app provider now and thereafter if I choose uh, for example FedEx now you can see that uh, we have this uh, connect button but kindly remember to set up the shipping from location uh, before you connect to any of the providers here and after you have uh, created your account you just need to log in to get the API key on the top right hand corner you'll see this wrench icon and that allows you to uh, generate the API keys and thereafter you just need to come to the uh, carriers and fulfillments but before that you'll just first set the ship from locations and then we'll choose the carriers and the fulfillment uh, carries there after that you just need to tap here on the connect button and uh, here you can see that uh, right now the uh, seller or the admin can also register uh, their FedEx account as well and uh, they can see the uh, uh, the uh, legal requirements or the, the data there and uh, here the admin can tap on the I accept and then the admin just needs to enter the uh, uh, if uh, uh, if the admin has already uh, his uh, uh, FedEx account then he just needs to enter his uh, details like the uh, FedEx account number and the rest of the details and thereafter he just needs to tap here on the uh, connect button so as to connect his uh, FedEx account with uh, within this uh, particular integration plugin so that's how we can set up the carriers and fulfillment as well and uh, apart from that we can also manage the custom information for each of the orders that is imported uh, with an international destination and for that uh, we can go to uh, international settings here I'll just tap on that then uh, you can set up the default custom information for the uh, for the international shipping and uh, you can also choose to send non trackable tracking number to marketplaces apart from that you will also be able to set up the non delivery option customer declarations uh, sign customers and the other details then you just need to save uh, changes and that would save you international settings uh, that would allow uh, you to manage the customer information for each of the orders uh, that is imported with an international destination and now after that uh, the admin can also uh, set up the permissions for this shipping station so uh, for that uh, let me take you to the admin market panel but before that let's see the front end uh, workflow of this uh, ship station plugin itself so for that i'll just take you to the open cart web store front end and i'll be logging in as a customer first so here i'm at the open cart web store uh, back end panel uh, all right i just forgot i just need to go to the uh, front end first so uh, let me take you there so here I'm at the web store front end and from here I'll be logging into my customer account and uh, I'll just tap here on the returning customer and enter my uh, details there. So uh, likewise the customers uh, would uh, come up to your web store, they'll log in 
and thereafter they'll be able to add products into the cart so let's go to this particular category ship station shipping and from here let's add a few products into the cart so I'll just add this one and uh, this one so you can see that two uh, products are there within the cart now I'll just tap on the checkout button and we'll come to the uh, checkout section as you can see here so here we'll be uh, choosing the uh, bidding, uh, billing details otherwise you can also add a new one then we have the delivery details where the uh, delivery is to be made and uh, I'll just choose that up and uh, then we have this section uh, that's the uh, uh, where we will be uh, choosing the shipping method like uh, right now you can see that we have the ship station shipping and uh, due to some internet connectivity it's not uh, showing all of the uh, uh, what we say is the carriers there so just so uh, this is how the customers can check this tip, uh, ship station shipping uh, the methods that the admin has uh, uh, set up from the uh, ship station uh, settings in the back end for the ship, sta uh, ship uh, station uh, settings and here you can see that we have set up the USPS uh, so that's why we are able to see all of the USPS priority meal international uh, shipping methods and thereafter the customer can choose uh, any of them and can make a che check out thereafter and the same shipping uh, ship station shipping that's the USPS priority meal or the other one that the customer has selected would then be visible under the uh, my orders uh, for the uh, order uh, for which the uh, customer had selected the ship station shipping uh, itself so uh, that was about the customer end now uh, let's go to the admin backend panel and uh, for the open card webster itself and let's see uh, how the admin can configure this uh, particular plugin initially so I've logged into my admin backend panel as you can see and uh, after login we need to navigate through extensions extensions and then we need to choose uh, what type of uh, extension type it is so we'll choose it as shipping and then we'll scroll down and we have the open guard ship station shipping we'll tap edit and that brings up the section wherein uh, we'll be able to set up the open guard ship station shipping settings so actually my credentials uh, have uh, expired because of the trial version that is uh, there for only one month so that's why uh, I was also not able to show you the uh, ship station shipping uh, uh, carriers. So that's why I showed you this particular image uh, for a better understanding there. So uh, here you can set the uh, title that is visible to the customers. So this same uh, title is visible here as you can see ship station shipping. And uh, thereafter you need to enter your api key and the api secret as i've already shown you and then uh, the uh, uh, shipping uh, rates uh, that are issued associated with the selected uh, carrier that the admin has chosen from the admin backend will be uh, shown to the customers so for example here we are having the usps we had selected that so that's why uh, they are visible to the customer and uh, then uh, the admin can set the uh, weight class as gram pound or ounce as required the link class centimeter millimeter orange geo zones where it should be uh, applicable like all zone uk shipping or the uk VAT zone you can set up the handling fees you can choose to enable this particular shipping method and you can set up the uh, postal code as well for the store thereafter you just need to tap here on the uh, save button and uh, and uh, to display the allowed carriers here you just need to uh, tap here on the get carriers button and that would get the ship station carriers and would display them here under the allowed carriers uh, there so this was the initial configuration setting required for the uh, open card ship uh, station shipping plugin and uh, also uh, the web store admin would be able to export to the uh, ship station the orders that have been placed within his open card web store and uh, once the admin receives the purchase request the admin has to carry out the export to ship station process by navigating through sales and then uh, under that we have the orders and that brings up the order list section as you can see and thereafter uh, the admin can tap on the view order for the respective uh, order that has been placed and uh, and after you're on the order uh, after you've uh, viewed the order 
on the top you can see export to ship station and if I tap this particular button here then the order details would be exported to the uh, ship station and uh, basically the product export uh, process uh, on ship uh, station takes place and uh, after that a success order is also uh, uh, shown to the customers and uh, apart from that uh, when the export to ship station is gen uh, done after that you can tap here on the generate label uh, tab that you can see and uh, this is to be done after the export process is successful and uh, after you have uh, tapped on this particular uh, button, a label for the respective order uh, would be uh, displayed. And uh, let me show you that how the uh, how the uh, label is visible to the admin. Uh, so this is how uh, the shipping label would be uh, visible to the uh, web store admin with all the details here, as you can see. And uh, after uh, you have uh, done this and uh, after you generated the label uh, then uh, you'll be able to see the tracking number for the order and uh, that would also be visible to the admin here and uh, the admin can also uh, choose the uh, packing slip for the respective order and that can also be uh, generated by tapping on the print invoice button so if i tap on the print invoice button that would uh, create the uh, invoice here and the admin can then uh, uh, what we say as can make a, uh, take a print down out of that and here you can see that we have the uh, USPS priority mail international package uh, that was chosen by the customer uh, using the ship station plugin and uh, so uh, as uh, you know that I had uh, told you that the uh, API keys uh, were expired so right now I've added the new API keys and the API secret uh, within the admin backend panel for the configuration of the open guard ship station shipping. And uh, after showing that, uh, we'll, I'll just take you to the checkout once again. So as to show how uh, the uh, allowed carriers uh, that are added here would be visible to the customers for choosing uh, their shipping method. So uh, as I've told you, tapping the get carriers would get the uh, carriers and would display that up here under the allowed carriers. So uh, within the carrier, the admin must have his uh, account uh, there. And uh, as you can see right now, under the allowed carriers, I have uh, basically added uh, one of the uh, carriers there. So the uh, shipping risk associated with the selected carrier would be uh, shown to the customer on the uh, checkout page. So uh, that was much about the Open Guard Ship Station uh, shipping plugin. And I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of this particular plugin. And if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin, then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uids.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead. And also check the uh, user guide and the store and the live demo that I've attached within the description section for this particular plugin for your use.